here is an unusual plant. I suppose it's not unusual if you're used to it, but if you don't aren't used to it, it's unusual. Now then, let me see. Let's pull off one of these here. It's called horsetail. And usually, oh, they don't really break right now. Mm, okay, well, all that I was just going to say, forget it. These pull apart in the summertime, not after the winter. They're horsetail. You can harvest them and they're good for stuff. But you can also push them back together. And then they look like they're all together again, but really they've all been broken apart. Horsetail. Not to be confused with a real horse's real tail. <laughs> look at all this. Is this birch bark? The ice storm broke many things down ten years ago. This is what your place would look like ten years from now, those of you that lost a lot. You know, I never really talked to anybody that lost a lot in the ice storm. Nobody really ever described it so that I could see that it was indeed like ours. They said when the trees all fell that it was as if there was a Volkswagen in each, like a bug, beetle, in every tree. And that's why the trees broke. It was a ton of weight up in the tree. There was ice half an inch thick on everything. And then everything bent over, and then the ice fell again. And on the backs of it, it was really, really something. It made me think of the Savior, that after everything he had done, and he was already broken, and then they did more things to him. Oh. Hey, look at this. I was going to show you this the other day. Oh, after the snow goes away, sometimes it leaves this kind of a webbing, like a cobweb stuff. Now, I don't know if it's mold or just what it is. I guess I could analyze it. But it's, it disappears very quickly. As soon as the sun comes on, it's gone. But you have it where the snow has gone, or just after the snow leaves. See all those spots in this? And see, here's the snow. And you don't have it immediately when the snow goes away because it's too wet. But after it's dried up a little bit, see? The ice is over here, and there's none next to the ice, but over here, that's where it is. So this has had a chance to dry a little bit. A little bit of lichen. I like lichen. Look at how that fern is lying there perfectly under that. Now that fern would have been on top of the snow. Yep, and so would these other things. Whereas that straw was underneath the snow. See, you can tell it was on top because it, it drew the heat and it melted down around itself. What do you think of these side trackings I get into? I'm just busy having a little walk in the morning and then all of a sudden you're getting some nature lesson or some science. Which way is it that looks good? One of these flowers is missing. Here we have a really good example of this. This is all the moldy stuff. Looks like a, a, a cobweb. And that is about two feet away from this ice. Now we have some that's about eight inches from the ice. Or from the ice. <laughs> now you can hear the way it's going away. Now it's still crunchy, but this down here is softer. And chill because it's not freezing outside, I guess. That's why I'm not cold. I knew there was a reason I wasn't cold. I'm in my winter coat, too. Decided I would keep wearing my winter coat and to heck with spring clothing. I still have on many dresses, many skirts, and many blouses. 
yesterday I had on seven dresses and two blouses. So I could come in and go out as I pleased and I didn't need to light the fire. It was wonderful. And they're all loose fitting so it's not bung bungling up at your waist or anything. <laughs> The snow is going, but it will be back. It will be back in how many months? Let's see, this is March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Maybe eight months. It will be back to stay in eight months. And by that time, we will have forgotten. We will have forgotten what it looks like to be snow covered. Just like right now, I have forgotten what it looks like to be green everywhere. When every tree is covered with leaves. When you can't see through the forest because there's so much growth. See now, if the birds were to come back now, you could see them all. But they come back in May. The warblers come in May. And in May, the same time as the buds come out. The buds come out on the 1st of May. The buds open on the 1st of May. And the birds come back on the 1st of May. Don't ask me how I know. And the trilliums bloom and the black flies come out. And you see now, if the birds came out now, came back now, it might be warm-ish, but they wouldn't have anything to eat as much. By May, those little caterpillars have time to lay their millions of caterpillar tents, tent caterpillar stuff. They've had time to lay all that. And they've started up and the little caterpillars are walking along with branches. And the black flies have hatched. And so the birds have something to eat. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is worth